He the captain of the team, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now he's an old man right here. Old man. He called me the old man. Old man. Yeah. You become a uh, team captain. I'm the team captain? Yeah, right now. I'm the team <laughs> captain because I'm the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. Love you guys. Um, we love you. This has been an awesome uh, Thanksgiving to celebrate with uh, all of you, everyone in Taiwan, all of my new teammates. It's very special. Um, I'm so thankful to be here. There's no place I'd rather be than with you guys. So I love you. Crazy. This one is electric. Tough. And got the bike to go with it back here. Let me show you the bike. The bike back here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. This Ducati Lambo is. Get this one too. Yeah, you gotta say what's up there, everybody. Yeah, what's up? Is that way? Is that yeah, yeah, yeah. Dwight the captain? <laughs> <laughs> he the captain of the team, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now he's an old man right here. Old man. He called me the old man. Old man. Yeah. Because you become a uh, team captain. I'm the team captain? Yeah, right now. I'm the team captain because I'm the oldest. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Where Coach Bobo at? Let me show y'all Coach Bobo. Coach Bobo's favorite meal is really chicken ass. Let me show y'all. Here go Bobo, y'all. Yeah, gang, gang. Bing, 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 bobo. Yeah. Bing, 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 bobo. <laughs> Yo, go bobo crazy. All right, you guys. Love you guys. Um, we love you. This has been an awesome uh, Thanksgiving to celebrate with uh, all of you, everyone in Taiwan, all of my new teammates. It's very special. Um, I'm so thankful to be here. There's no place I'd rather be than with you guys. So. I love you, and uh, let's have an awesome season and a great Thanksgiving. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. I'm going to read y'all this letter that a fan gave me. It really almost brought me to tears, man. And you just have to focus on your own journey. Never stop trusting the magic of your divine path as long as it makes sense to you. Keep going. It's okay to be misunderstood, but you understand yourself, and that's the real prize. From Juan. Thank you, Juan. That was very special, man. <laughs> Oh, read y'all this letter that a fan gave me. It really almost brought me to tears, man. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Uh, it said, don't get stuck in the trap of trying to prove yourself to others so that you can be on the same page. Sometimes wisdom is realizing it's okay to be not on the same page. You don't have to worry about the version of you that they have created in their heads. You just have to focus on your own journey. Never stop trusting the magic of your divine path as long as it makes sense to you. Keep going. It's okay to be misunderstood, but you understand yourself, and that's the real prize. From one. Thank you, Juan. That was very special, man. I'm gonna keep that with me until I die.
playing overseas and I'm not playing in the NBA. And to be honest, um, it's really an amazing experience. And I think it's disrespectful for people to talk about the competition over here. Obviously, a lot of these guys haven't played in the NBA, but you have a lot of guys, professional players, who come from different areas of the world who play in this league or play in Taiwan or play in the Philippines or play in these many different countries. I think it's very disrespectful to disrespect all these guys just because they didn't make it to the NBA. NBA only has 450 slots. It's gonna be hard for everybody in the world to make it to the NBA. So it don't mean that they don't have talent. It don't mean that they can't play in the NBA. It don't mean that they're not good. It's just the NBA might not be for them. Playing basketball overseas, you know, so this is my first time ever doing this in the 18 years of being in the NBA. Um, I'm playing overseas and I'm not playing in the NBA. And to be honest, um, it's really an amazing experience. You know, really just get away, you know. And sometimes you gotta get away to get away. So, uh, this is great for me just to be here, um, be here in Taiwan with you know, these beautiful fans and the people here. It's just so amazing. Yeah, they bring me a lot of fruit and stuff like that. So I've been eating this. Like, I've never seen an orange like this, really. Yeah, this is an orange. So I've been uh, eating these. These are really, really good. So I love you. <laughs> and LA. And it's a real good experience. Just playing basketball here. Um, yeah, my coach doesn't speak English, so it was really crazy to be playing with a coach that don't really speak English and, you know, how you communicate with this guy. So when we have a translator, we got to talk to the translator. He got to translate what he's saying to the coach. And in my mind, I'd be like, is he really telling the coach what I'm saying? Um, but, but then, you know, I really like the coach, man. He's a real, he's a real good guy. Uh, real tiny, real tiny, his name is Bobo, and he's always smiling. And I think it's disrespectful for people to talk about the competition level here. Obviously, a lot of these guys haven't played in the NBA, but you have a lot of guys, professional players, who come from different areas of the world who play in this league or play in Taiwan or play in the Philippines or play in these many different countries. I think it's very disrespectful to disrespect all these guys just because they didn't make it to the NBA. The NBA only has 450 slots. It's gonna be hard for everybody in the world to make it to the NBA. So it don't mean that they don't have talent. It don't mean that they can't play in the NBA. It don't mean that they're not good. It's just the NBA might not be for them. Fire. Guava, okay. They fire, I don't even front. They got some really good fruit here. And noodles too. I got some fire noodles right here. So I like the spicy noodles, so I got these. 